Let's make Hainan Game Hen with aromatic rice and ginger scallion sauce. This is a delicious dish and easy to make. First, let's make the ginger scallion sauce. Put some salt and a little pinch of sugar on finely minced ginger and scallions. Heat up some neutral oil until it is almost smoking. And once it is smoking, then you're going to pour some of the oil onto the minced ginger scallion mixture. And what this does is that it just briefly cooks it just enough so that when you eat it, it has the oil that is infused with all that flavor. And it also kind of breaks down the rawness of those things. Absolutely delicious. Now it's time to make our fried shallots. You get some neutral oil in medium heat and make sure that your shallots are thinly sliced and as even as possible. And you're gonna cook these stirring pretty frequently to ensure that you have even cooking. Mine took about eight minutes total. But as you can see here, a lot of the steam is coming out because you have the shallots that have a lot of water in them. So the key with these is to make sure that you take them out just before they are too golden brown. Because if you take them to golden brown in the pot and then pour it out, it's going to be overcooked and it continues to cook after. So it'll be burned at that point. So you want to take the shallots out when they are about this color. And so you'll see that that is that golden brown color, but light golden brown. And then once you transfer it into a sieve and then pour out the oil, it'll continue to darken for a few minutes. So that's the color that you want. And then here's a picture of what they look like when they're completely cooled. And they should be really nice and crunchy. Here's the mise en place for the Hainan game hen and the rice. First, you want to put your game hen into a pot and rub it with salt. Make sure that you rub it all over before you put the aromatics in. So the aromatics that I used here are just kind of the leftover areas of my bottom of the green onion. I cut a little bit of ginger and I just so happen to also have some lemongrass leaves as well. After you put your aromatics in, go ahead and fill the water just to the top and then put it on the lowest burner setting. And you're going to poach this until you have an internal temperature of about 158 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason why you don't want to take it to 165 is because it's going to carry over cook and we really don't want this to be overcooked. So cover it up and put it on your lowest heat. It should never, ever, ever have a actual simmer because poaching is very, very, very low heat. So very tiny bubbles. So here I have my finished game hen. And right now it's not quite ready, but I want to go ahead and let it rest. So I'm gonna cover the pot up and let it rest there in that liquid for another 10 minutes. After it's rested for 10 minutes, I take it out and I'm going to tent it in foil to keep it warm. And I'll keep it warm. And in the meantime, I'm going to hand it and make my aromatic rice pilaf. So let's do that. Take a little bit of that shallot oil and put a little bit of that game hen fat that you can trim off of the game hen. This is the same pilaf method that you've made with any type of rice pilaf before. So this should really be no issue for you. We're just changing up the stock flavor and we're changing up a little bit of the um, actual aromatics in the pilaf. 
just a reminder for your peel off that you do not get too much color at all on those aromatics, just sweating. And then after you do that, you add your rice and you're going to parch your rice. Make sure that you get all the fat on that rice. Then you add your liquid, bring it to a boil. And then once it's boiling, you're gonna cover it and you have two choices. You could cook it on the stove on low heat for 20 minutes, or you can put the whole thing into an oven for 20 minutes. Don't forget after the 20 minutes that you let it rest without any heat for five minutes before fluffing. Now that my peel off is done, I've let it rest for five minutes and now I'm going to fluff it. I'm just checking the texture, I'm just checking the seasoning. You can adjust before you plate it. Now let's plate. I've put some of the rice peel off into a small bowl and I put it upside down on the plate so that it will look really nice after I take off the bowl. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to carve up my game hen. First, I cut off my leg quarters. I want to keep those intact so that in my finished plate, I have a leg quarter and some sliced boneless breast. So I'll get the leg quarter it on, on the other side and now I start to slice my breast. Just do it like you would do a normal chicken fabrication but now you have cooked meat. I want to keep the skin on and now I want to slice at an angle my two breasts and remember because it's a Cornish game hen it's quite small so when you put it on the plate it will have the perfect portion. Now it's time to plate it up. I removed my bowl and I'm going to put my finished chicken leg quarter, I'm sorry, game hen leg quarter and my sliced breast and the ginger scallion sauce. And lastly, my crispy shallot garnish. There you have it, all done, enjoy.